The Greater Anglia Class 755 Flirt is one of our most anticipated models. For those who've been following the development of this locomotive, you'll know it's packed full of features for modelers. We were lucky enough to grab electronics engineer Chris Riley to talk us through what makes this model so special. I've been working very closely with Greater Anglia um, to provide or well, to obtain the sound files for it. As per some of the promotional material you might have seen, I visited Crown Point. Um, depot and they were really helpful and, and, and friendly and we basically could go head to tail on the loco to, to try and get all the sounds that I needed to be able to put the project together. This is all under DCC operation at the moment um, but it's got various lighting with HM7000. Um, you can control and vary by one of the AUX outputs and functions on the decoder, um, vary the front lighting so you can switch between day and night mode. Um, it's also got a cab light and a step light, which automatically t switches off when the loco starts to move. Um, you've also got door operating lights um, along, along each side of the coaches, which are independently controlled. So you have full operational control left side and right side by a function again on HM7000. Um, you've got full interior lighting and destination lighting on the end as well. It, it's been quite a tricky one to put together this. Um, and with a diesel electric operation, which it can transition on the fly, you can use this out of the box um, DCC with two decoders, so one at each end. Um, and out of the box, it will be diesel electric operation, so it will transition between diesel and electric mode as, say, the Class 800 um, and the Class 73 and other bi modes that we've done. You can have this operation in a three car or three decoder uh, setup. So you'd, you'd keep your decoder in the front and the rear, but you'd also have a decoder and a separately fitted bass enhanced speaker, which is specific for the power pack. And it's gonna be on the website, R7408, um, that will enhance the playback of the diesel engine. So you'll get, you, you can, by means of CV, um, change it so that you get electric mode only from the front and the rear, and you'll only get diesel mode um, from the power pack itself. So what exactly does this mean? Well, it means you can have it as a two car operation with two decoders and it will play diesel electric both ends, or you can have it prototypical with electric on both ends. Then when you enable diesel mode, the diesel motor fires up on the power pack. And by means of CV, you can enable certain spot sounds to play from the corresponding end of the train. For example, when the train's in a forwards direction, you can set it up each end to play horns. So only the horns are playing back from the front of the train. Likewise, something like the pantograph arc or the guard's horns will be playable from the back of the train. This is all configurable in function masking, which can be found on the function sheet on the website under the DCC guides. I feel actually quite proud of this project because um, one of the I'm always looking to innovate and, and push new features into a model um, and certainly with firmware um, we've been able to implement or I've been able to implement a feature where there are different various onboard safety announcements which are controllable by F17 that's completely configurable by CV so you can choose what safety announcement is played each time you enable disable F17 Stand clear of the doors. And F18, so function 18, 
is been allocated to um, destination. And so it's a, a destination announcement. So if you were on board and it says, oh, this train, welcome to the service of Norwich, it will then count down the station stops between where you are and where you're going to. This mimics exactly the prototype. So you, would, you can enable F18 whilst in the station. It will give you the playback sound of, hello, this is the service of Norwich. Give you the next sequence of stations. You'll then take off, um, drive your train round. When you initiate another station stop, you enable the function again and it will miss the next station out in the sequence. So until eventually you count down to you get into the destination just like the real train would. Welcome to this service for Norwich. We will be calling at West Runton, Cromer, North Walsham, Hoveton and Roxham, Salhouse and Norwich. Welcome to this service for Norwich. We will be calling at Cromer, North Walsham, Hoveton and Roxham, Salhouse and Norwich. Welcome to this service for Norwich. We will be calling at North Walsham, Hoveton and Roxham, Salhouse and Norwich. Welcome to this service for Norwich. We will be calling at Hoveton and Roxham, Salhouse and Norwich. Welcome to this service for Norwich. We will be calling at Salhouse and Norwich. Welcome to this service for Norwich. It's got working front and rear Delna couplings, just like the, the prototype, which allows you to connect more than one unit together. So you can, I don't know in operation whether they ever run together. Um, they might do for um, training purposes and, and things like that, or route learning. But I'm, in service, I don't know whether they actually run together, but it, you can connect them together and then run them as one unit. We've really pushed ourselves in terms of detail and, and functionality in this loco. Um, and for two, I, I wanted, I want to push, I'm, as I said before, I'm, I'm kind of pushing the boundaries and, and what we can achieve in firmware, in decoder firmware. And having advanced functionality and feature like this, where you're constantly, um, you're engaging the user, so you're, you're allowing the user to, to play trains if, effectively, um, and it allows them to do that. For more information and to order our Flirt 3 and 4 car train packs along with our 4 car Pride train pack, visit our website now.